Hey everyone, I wanted to introduce you to a website slash app that you may already be aware of, but maybe this is your first introduction to it and you want to see what it does. So this is my quick review of PlugShare. PlugShare is a great little app and website that you can use for a lot of EV charging needs. So what it does is it lets you see where chargers are located, what type of charger they are, and it has a really expansive network. This is just in the Bay Area, and you can see it's littered with uh, places that you can charge your car. One place that I found that found this to be extremely useful is when going to, say, downtown San Francisco and needing to figure out which garage I wanted to park at. As we zoom in, you see that there are even more spots than it looks like when zoomed out. And you can see some of these parking garages have uh, chargers there. So I can click on one, and then on the left-hand side, I'll see, okay, it's paid parking, but the charging is actually free here. And it has a phone number, and it tells me, hey, well, have other users, have had they had any issues with this charging station before, or has it worked great? So other people have said, hey, it's a little pricey, but works fine. Other people said it was in use but no issues. There's even a little photo there so you can know what to look out for and know where it's located. This is actually really useful and I found it to be a great help uh, when in downtown San Francisco or an area that I just don't know as well uh, and maybe I'm out of the state and I don't know where, where, you know, where the charges are located and this is great for that. The other thing you can do actually here's you can actually limit to the type of charger. So the J1772 is just your level two charger, what charge point and others use. But you can also limit to Tesla chargers and superchargers. So this will obviously pull out your supercharger, like here, there's one in San Ramon, but you'll see that the Hyatt house also has one there. So there's a Tesla charger at that hotel. There's a Tesla charger at this winery over, uh, over to the east. And there are a bunch of other places that have these chargers that you can use. Another cool thing you can do is you can actually say, okay, which places are free? All right. Now, another thing you can do is say, I only want to use residential locations. So what that actually does is it's a network of people, say somebody like yourself, who has a charger on the outside, has a Tesla charger there, and you want to make it available for other people to use. So you can go ahead and do that. So for example, this is David's home charger. And he says, hey, the charger's inside the garage, but he's willing to give the code if he's not at home. He said, you know, it's going to take you how long if you how long to charge, about seven hours, three and a half, depending on the size of your car. And it sounds like the parking is free and he's willing to be let you use it overnight. You can see here another one. Uh, it's, again, inside the garage, but call ahead. He has this NEMA charger with the Tesla port, Amit over here also has an EMA charger inside the garage, but he gave his phone number. So if you need, if you're stuck in a pinch, don't have the range, you can hit these people up and they, you know, they're there to use, uh, if, if they're, if they're willing. So especially if you're in an area that doesn't have as many chargers. So as you get into the central Valley here, um, you can go ahead and find a charger. So I know Merced doesn't have a supercharger yet, uh, but here's one that's at David's home, and you can always reach out to David to see if you can use one there. So this is a really good app. It allows you to use other people's chargers, and you can always figure out like if you want to you know, give them anything in return for the energy you use or the convenience, but you can also do that, do that for yourself and pay it forward. Um, so this is a great little, great little tool. It's available on iOS and Android. I'm sure there's a whole bunch of other things you can do with this tool that I haven't covered here. So leave a comment if there are things that I'm missing, things that I should include. You can obviously plan a trip here. You can go ahead and say, I'm driving from San Francisco to LA. Where should I stop? Um, so there's a bunch of things, th things here that you can do. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment. Uh, and I hope you learn something new today. Thanks.